Good morning! What's up LinkedIn? It's been a minute since I gave you a video where I was actually speaking. So thank you for bearing with me with the whole TikTok thing. I've been getting it. You know what I'm saying? Whew. Anyways, fully committed to TikTok, in love with TikTok. It just makes me so happy to run around the town, dancing with people, having fun, and just watching people smile and laugh. It's super cool. So um, check it out if you haven't checked it out. It's a great way to market as well. But even a better benefit, y'all, is I've been using TikTok as like a post-workout wind down, which is not exactly really what it is because it's a huge, huge um, workout itself because after I work out, all the little TikTok dances, they're so cute, but you're like moving fast and you're doing this and you wanna do them over and over and over. So you're like working up a sweat again. But hello, plus side, it's better for you. It's always good to get your blood flowing, body moving. Show your body some love today. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, I like halfway kissed me. Jeez, extra. Um, But I wanna share a story with y'all that um, it was something that happened to me today at the gym. Been hitting it hard. Getting ready for beach season. Uh, uh. Team no excuses. Team start making. It happened. No matter what, right? Um, so that's what we have to do. No matter what, we wake up. We make it happen. Even when we don't feel like it. Trust me, this morning I did not even feel like going to the gym at all. There's snow on the ground, but the sun's out, so it's gorgeous. <sighs> the positivity. Um, anyways, I didn't feel it this morning, keeping it real with you, but I had to seriously tell myself like, get your ass out of bed. Get your ass out of bed. Get your shoes on. Get your shoes on. Get your tights on. Make it happen, Allie. No excuses. And so sometimes we'll say like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I say, who cares what those people think? Because if that's what you have to do constantly, constantly um, to fight off that self-doubt and that negativity that wants you to stay in bed and stay lazy and not be at your best, then go ahead and do that. Whatever works for you. That's what works for me. So that's what I do. And it's been working. And I feel like I owe a lot to TikTok because after a whole, you know, a lifting session and the ellipticals and the staring master and all that shit, um, it gets me excited to actually keep moving. So it's like I have a really long workout throughout my day. Very long. Um, so I've been seeing results. I've been feeling it. I feel great. I have not hopped on a scale. Your girl doesn't do that um, to each their own. But I try to stay away from numbers. And I go off of the way that I feel and the way that my clothes fit and the way um, that I look. And if I'm happy with it, if I'm not. Um, and if you know your body well and if you're in tune with yourself, you can see that uh, needle go up or go the opposite way, right? I mean, we live with us. We're in our body all the time. So get to know your body, get to love your body, and get to telling yourself all that stuff that you don't need to tell yourself to make sure that you get out of bed and get to the gym so you can do your thing. So when summer hits, you can walk with confidence and be like, boom. Y'all don't mind going to the beach. Y'all go to that pool party. Catch me at the lake, ladies. Your girl's gonna be there, you know? I'll bring the floaties. Whatever you have to do um, to make sure that you're feeling your best. And for me, physical fitness is a huge one. The funny, okay, let's get to the story. Whew. You can tell I haven't seen y'all in a while. Um, so, at the gym, this guy came, comes up to me. Anyways, God bless him. He comes up to me and he goes, are you a trainer? And I said, no. And he said, why are you doing all this? Why are you so fit? <laughs> what? What kind of question is that, right? And I was like, uh, first of all, I was like, I want to be like, none of your business, bro. Who are you? But anyways, people are curious creatures, you know, whatever. So I entertained it for about two seconds. And I said, um, my husband and I, we like to have a fit family. We like to just become better every day. And he looked at me like I was absolutely bonkers, like crazy, you guys. He was like, like, that didn't make sense. Like, I had to have a real reason um, to actually want to take care of my body and be in the gym, like, getting it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, let's just be committed to becoming better just for the hell of it. Becoming better because that's what's going to take us to the next level and to create that strength. Um, I talk about confidence all the time, that uh, rock solid confidence. It just makes you feel so fulfilled and you get energy from it, right? And if you look good, you feel good, you know, all of that. Um, 
and it can transcend to making more money, having more sales. If you're just walking like you know your shit and if you do know your shit, but like nothing can stop you and you own a room and people feel that when you walk in, people want to be around those types of people. So if you want to be on the level of those people or you want that confidence, wake up and make it happen. Um, so another thing is I've been getting a lot of messages from people like all on different platforms and they're like, Ali, what are you selling? Ellie, what's your secret? There is no secret. I'm not selling anything but positivity and it's free. So no, I don't have any promo to anything. And that is not what it's about. It is about just becoming a better version of yourself every day. And you don't have to be perfect, but as long as you're moving in the right direction and you're loving yourself and you're trying to get healthier and all of these things and you're putting in the massive action that it takes to get it done and you have all of those right types of mindsets um, and you switch from stinking thinking, then hello. That's what makes success happen and that's what a true leader is. So if you're wondering what you gotta do to make it happen and to get there, start with taking care of yourself and loving yourself. And you don't have to have a reason, you don't have to sell nothing, you don't have to be a personal trainer, you can just wanna feel awesome. Ali Owens over and out. Bye guys, it's going down 2020. Check out my podcast, The Annoyingly Positive Podcast. Bye.